Okay, in this section, I'm going to explain how you set the TV cable on this thing. So this car, I put a low car kit on it. As you can see, it's aftermarket. It doesn't have that slip joint that the factory one has. So you got to be a little bit careful because that slip joint is designed to protect the transmission from breaking the linkage inside the transmission. I'll show that later. But the first step here is you set this to full throttle. As you can see, I got a brick on the throttle and that's holding it down. And so now I got to set this. And as you can see, you can pull it a certain amount. And you want tension on it, but you don't want so much tension that you're damaging the linkage inside. So it takes a little practice. And um, there's two parts to the setting. One is full throttle. And the other part of the setting is part throttle. So this here, which will adjust the cable forward and backward, this is to set the full throttle tension, okay? Now, if you find that full throttle works, but it slips at part throttle, assuming the transmission is good, you have to move the pivot point here, meaning this is the pivot point where the axle through the carburetor goes, okay? And this distance is what affects the part throttle. So if this hole that came from the factory for metal brock is wrong, I'll have to drill another hole to move where the pivot point is. And generally speaking, if you need more holding power at part throttle, the hole has to get closer to the pivot point of the shaft. So you'd have to drill a hole probably about right there. But that's a pointer. Um, remember, if it holds full throttle but not part throttle, this adjuster isn't going to help you. Okay, so what I've done is now the throttle is returned so I can work this easier. You can see the, it's hard to see, there's a black mark there where I marked it with a marker. So I'm putting the that there. I'm going to tighten it and that'll be correct for full throttle. And then obviously, as I said earlier, part throttle will find out. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate this as it's adjusted and I'll show you why possibly you have to move the pivot point. As you can see, there's quite a bit of slop here, all right, but you get on the throttle and you get after it, see, there's not a lot more you can pull it. So that's set for full throttle, but part throttle, it's not, it's not coming out until you're pretty far into the throttle. Now that might be fine with a normally aspirated engine like this one. When I had that transmission behind a supercharged engine, of course, at a quarter throttle, it was making a ton of torque and it would slip. So I had to move my pivot point up so that this was pulling out almost immediately right off of idle. Um, so you have to experiment with that and um, depending on how much torque your engine is making but don't assume the transmission is a piece of crap because you just doubled your torque <laughs> and it slips now just mess with this just remember this is for full throttle setting and these pivot points are for your part throttle settings okay i decided to uh, change my pivot point here i thought about it and i said you know i'm just gonna do it um, there's a couple things to think about as you can see here. I moved it up So it's closer to this But I moved it forward a little bit because this adjustment screw for the fast idle I didn't want to get into that. So I didn't want to go straight above it But I think this will work. Okay, and now I'm going to piece it together. and I'm going to show you um, How it changes things Okay, here it is put back together I angled this back a little bit because that is a bit low, but it'll work. But what, what you see here is we're at full throttle. And that, I didn't make any more adjustments to this. So I got to move this back or adjust that back, one or the other. And then it'll be correct. But this is the point that it's making is that moving this closer to the pivot reduces the stroke. But what happens when we... Uh, put it back to zero throttle okay here we are at zero throttle and we have this much slack and so because we know that we can take up some slack we can cut the slack in half like it's like that 
That way when you're tipping into the throttle, you're starting to get into the TV cable's function a little bit earlier, which is to raise your line pressure and give you more holding power in second gear. So since I've already tightened that down and I have adjustment, I'm going to use this one to adjust it back. All right, I've adjusted this a little bit. So then I can uh, tighten up on this. As you can see, there's a little bit less slack there. I could probably tighten it a little more. But at this point, I'm going to stop adjusting without road testing. I just wanted to demonstrate where you move, how you move the pivot point to uh, reduce the stroke so that way you're at a higher starting point for off idle and that'll help your part throttle holding power and you still have to adjust this so that it's fully extended um, on full throttle so you have maximum holding power at full throttle so that's it that's how you do it okay up in here is where the TV cable kit goes into the transmission. You can see my finger there. It's hard to tell Because I you know, I'm not taking the header off just to show that but that's where it goes in the transmission And now I've, I've dropped the pan to show what it's actually actuating and this is going to be difficult, but So this here is what it's actually working on and it's hard to see it's basically impossible without me taking the thing apart but that it's hooked to this thing through a little clip and if you overextend it you could pop things apart in here that's why it's important to when you're using an aftermarket cable without a release mechanism that you don't overextend it when you're setting your full throttle and um so there it is <laughs> 